you've got to be at your best when your best is required and your best is required every day. Everybody within this team in, in all different parts need to perform every day, whether it's a player, a coach, uh, someone in the SNC or, or medical department, whether it's in, in management, whether it's in, in the performance department, everybody needs to perform every day. At the end of the day, uh, you know, your word is, is all you've got and you've got to be honest with people. Sometimes it's, it's difficult conversations uh, because a coach has got to make tough calls. Um, but a lot of times it's, it's about you know, making the person better and um, I think that's, that's a coach's job is uh, specifically to leadership is to set an example and make sure that you know, people will become better people. For me, you recognise a good leader in relationships. Within a team, uh, you can't do it alone. Um, whether you're a coach or a player, you're part of a team and you have to function as part of a team. And Within a team comes relationships and with relationships comes connections. Uh, you've got to be connected as a team and I guess the most important thing is, is how do you operate with, with people beside you. At any given time, you've got, you've got 15 players on, on the pitch and you know, if you're a player, there's 14 guys around you. And, uh, we know a relationship um, gets formed over time. I think that's, that's the role of management is, is to keep those relationships always growing and teams that stay together for a long time, most of the time become the most successful teams. Now, every day is different. Uh, you might come in in the morning and think a day will go a specific way and it goes to the total opposite way. So you've got to be open to change, you've got to be able to adapt. And I think the most important thing about change is communication. You need to communicate with people um, and you've got to look them straight in the eye and, and, and talk to them. Um, as everybody pulls in, in the, the same direction, it, it doesn't matter then what, what change brings is we're all doing it together. In a game of rugby, you've got to be able to, to adapt to change. The most important thing about change is the team always comes first. I read once that uh, you know, life is 10% what happens and 90% how you react to it. And I think that's, that's your attitude. And uh, you can't control anything externally, but you can control your attitude. And if you believe in your process, you believe in your team and you believe in your people, and um, you're all on the same page and we all control our attitude, that's brilliant. Uh, that's what you want from a, from a high-performing team is you want to be better and the most important thing, you want to do it for the guy next to you. Balance is incredibly important. You've got to enjoy your, your time away from here and I think that's, that's a, a very important point is, is your work-life balance. No one individual can just keep working seven days a week. Uh, you have to enjoy life. Um, the games are important, but uh, life is also pretty important. I think influence is a, is a big word. Um, I think you've got to first of all show people vision. Now the power of the human spirit is incredible. Uh, that's why sport is incredible, because things get done that nobody thought it possible and you know I think you've got to guide people and then let them make mistakes because we all make mistakes but it's how do you come back from those mistakes and how do you learn from them and change will come people will come people will go but it's about that vision and, and getting everybody on on the, let's call it the same boat and, and then going straight towards your vision. I'm not motivated about a lot of external factors. I like the small things. I like it when you see somebody like uh, Shane Daly coming into Munster Rugby and working so hard for two years and he gets one opportunity, um, like that chip against the Dragons and he scores and it's people like, where did that come from? But you saw that from, from two years of, of hard work or somebody's got a, a, a problem maybe at home in a relationship and. You, you try and guide him there and you know, that, that's what motivates me is, is um, making people better. From a team perspective, we, we always want to get better. There, there's no perfect game. Every weekend you, you can work on things and 
and that's about chasing perfection and going back to the motivation. That's what motivates you to come in week in and week out and, and try and become better.